Welcome back to NHL Now, and it's time for the Power Rankings. Mike Johnson and myself will uh, take a look around the league. Jackie's off camera laughing, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, Mike Johnson. I heard it's going to be spicy. It could be spicy today. It's, it's, it's a strange time. There's a lot of strange things going on in the National Hockey League. Johnny, start us off. Give me your top five. All right, DJ, this was a challenge. It's always challenging to do this, but this week it's like, so am I going best teams right now, best teams currently, or am I going, you know, with COVID situations, full lineups? How do we put it all together? So let's just work through it. Number five, I'm going to say the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, they're rolling along now. They still don't play with a full roster. Nazem Kadri is one of the leading scorers in the league, and I just still think when they're at their best, they are a fearsome team, and I don't think we've seen them at their best. I got the Wild at number four. I think the Wild are playing well, but from start to finish this year, they've probably been the most consistent team in the Western Conference. I know they fly a little bit under the radar. They should not. They're really good and have been all year long. They're at number four. Toronto Maple Leafs, Jackie, this one's for you. Yes. At number three. They're, they've gone on a great run. I mean, of 20 games, they've been on a great run, have barely lost. Um, they've really climbed up the rank. He's one of the top teams in the league by points, by points percentage. Their top players in Austin Matthews are, is absolutely rolling. Tavares, Nylander, they're doing without Marner and Spezza. There's a lot to like about Toronto. Carolina at number two. EJ, I'm giving them a bit of a, they're not as hot right now, but I'm giving them the full body of work because when they the way they played this year from start to finish before they had some injuries and some COVID situations they're really really good so i'm gonna kind of shade for the whole year as opposed to right right now and number one i can't i'm almost surprised they're here tampa the two-time defending champs have righted the ship no point no kutroff but what they have ej they have the best goalie in the world and they have one through six when everyone's playing the best defense in the world. And if you can anchor your game every single night with that, and then Stamp goes having a breakout, another really strong year, you get to climb up the ranks. I have them at number one, and I think they'll probably be around there for most of the year. Yeah, and I heard they have a pretty good coach, too. So, I mean, they do have a lot of good yeah, things okay. that are going in their direction. You know, it's so funny. As I looked at your rankings, and I'm like, you know, usually I come on here, and I'm like, well, they're way off. Let's get the right ones on. I'm like, those are really pretty good, and they're totally different than mine. It's it, just a reminder to me as I listen to you speak about the the parity in this league and the crazy situation we're in with these COVID uh players being out of the lineup because of the COVID protocol and teams being impacted by that. So I took a, a look at it and this is what I came up with and it's completely different, but let's get it. Let's take a run at it. So I had Tampa in there as well. I had Tampa at number five. I came down to Tampa and Toronto for me and I, I realized that just recently Tampa Bay Lightning were able to go into Toronto and beat the Leafs. So that gave me the edge for Tampa. Nashville's playing really well right now. They've won six games in a row. They fought, even with all the different players out last night. Now, I know Colorado had some challenges as well. But they found a way to win that game. And they've beaten some pretty good teams. They went into Madison Square Garden and beat the Rangers 1-0. That's an impressive win. The Vegas Golden Knights, they seem to be kind of rolling right now. And they have their game going. So I had them at three. The Anaheim Ducks, they had the eight-game winning streak. Then you figure, okay, they're going on the road. They're going to fall off. 6-2-2 two and two in their last 10 games. Keep finding ways to win games. I had to give them some credit. And I got the Pittsburgh Penguins at number one. And Steve Mears is probably laughing to high heaven right now in Pittsburgh because I would never, <laughs> ever put the Penguins at number one. But I have to because they've won five games in a row and they're playing really well right now. And I give Mike Sullivan a lot of credit through all the adversity there. That team is playing really well right now. So we have a very different opinion on this this week, Johnny. But I'm the, I think yours are really valid and really good. And uh, mm -hmm. I just think it just a, it's an indicator of the time that we are in right now in the league. Yeah, and just trying to figure out, you know, how do you factor COVID into this? I will say this, though, for Jackie's sake. The Maple Leafs do have the most points in the league tied with Tampa. So yeah. it's tough to have the most point in the league be really hot and not True. even make a top five. Although I can appreciate while you're doing what you're doing. I look at my list and I look at your list and your list might be top five right now. You can make a compelling argument. If the playoffs started, I really like and, and the Different teams were philosophy. full. I, I like, like your list. my teams yeah. a lot more than I like yours. I, I would agree with, but I would tell you, though, watch out for the Golden Knights in that group 
because they are going to add. If you're sure. talking about a bigger picture, right, if they can add a healthy Eichel and we get to the playoffs, they might be the best team on that board. They might be, depending yeah. what they lose, though, because when Jack comes back, someone's leaving that team for that's salary true. reasons. That's probably so true. They'll have that to take a little true. something off to add something that big. But it, it, listen, it's impossible right now. And this yeah. is we did this an hour ago. Things change. <laughs> that's Nick true. Backstrom's yeah. not playing for Washington anymore. Like, you know, like yeah. things change yeah. really, really fast right now, unfortunately, in the NHL. I like the Washington Capitals this year, yeah. too. They're yeah, team that's, I agree. They're playing really mm -hmm. well as well. Um, Rangers playing Rangers well. Rangers play. I mean, listen, that's the great thing yeah. about power rankings is that your opinion week to week can, can change so drastically. I wouldn't expect this team to be in the top five, but where would you place Vancouver on this six-game winning streak just in terms of of a team that is trending upwards, although they were very, very low yeah. a couple of weeks yeah. ago. But they're getting better. I think they're getting better. Johnny, for me, if I had seen a few more really quality wins among those six, I might have put them in this week. But they were in a lot of good spots, a lot of second of back-to-backs, backup goalies. Give them credit. They won those games, and that's what matters at the end of the day. But as the schedule changes over the next, uh, this weekend, for example, Toronto and Arizona back-to-back, -back, that's going to be a little bit more tricky. So, you know, for me, I like where they're headed. Let's see a little bit more. They wouldn't be in the top ten for me, Jackie, because it's not just that they, they've won games, which is what you're trying to do, but how they've won them. When you're riding Thatcher Demko on a 960, <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a, a, a real sign that you're a, you're a solid team, one of the best teams in the league. I think it means you have a goalie who's playing – like one of the best goalies in the league now. He's part of the team, so you take that into consideration. But they haven't been really dominant in many of their games coming from behind, shootouts, late-game heroics, those kind of things which are great to have. They're getting the points they need, but not really the – the sign of one of the best teams league. So I probably wouldn't even have in the top 10 right now. Listen, fair enough. <laughs> but I will, I will add, though, the confidence is growing. Besser scoring, Pedersen yep, scoring, Bo yes. Horvat is scoring. So if they start to like take that confidence and run with it and play to the level that those offensive players can play, Quinn Hughes as well, um, you never know. They could make things very interesting yeah. in terms of we'll the wild see. card race yeah. uh, down the stretch here. But you know what really scared me was hearing Steven Stamkos talk about how the Lightning are kind of under the radar right now and how awesome that is. And I was like, oh, yeah, you guys are dangerous as all get out. Yeah, but are. all right, they cool. Are.